It's kind of an odd story, but my sister got it in a storage unit in Port Orchard, Washington, which is not too far from here. But she found it in a storage unit, brought it home with her. She actually sold it to someone um, for a couple hundred bucks. And they um, had it for a couple of weeks and then brought it back and gave it back to my sister and said, I don't want it. They said it was cursed or something and he was having bad dreams. And so my sister got it. And then her boyfriend, he had put it on, was running around the house with the mask. And so then he started having bad dreams. So my sister said, I just, I don't want this thing. This thing is cursed, it's awful. And I said, I love him, he's great. So I named him Phil and my sister gave him to me and that's, I've had him for about a year now, so. And what does your boyfriend think of it? Um, my husband. Oh, he, your husband. My husband, That's, yes. And your boyfriend. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and hates it, absolutely hates it. Every time he gets a chance, he puts something over the top of it, so <laughs> he'll hide it. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about what this is. Okay. This is a Whittacum funerary Whittacum. mask. And Whittacum is a tribe on the border of Nigeria and Cameroon. Funerary mask. It would be worn at funerals. Okay. And it was really done primarily by a warrior society in this area. Wow. And that was why the mask looks so ferocious. Probably is going to be 20th century. 20s, 30s maybe, probably not much earlier than that. Okay. It's a wooden form and animal skin is stretched over it. Okay. We have a few condition problems. Yes. You can see this here and here, and one over there. then over there. Unfortunately, once you get this thing split like this, not a heck of a lot you can do about it. Okay. But you gotta keep it out of the sun, because it'll split more. Because that's that was what I was gonna ask, is yeah. is there any, like oil him, or you know, he no, looks dehydrated? I, just, <laughs> just keep, yeah, he doesn't drink. He doesn't no. drink. I, I did so notice that his teeth You had, didn't pull his teeth, No, did I did you? not okay, pull his good. teeth. His teeth that's were good. missing. <laughs> so he's missing a few teeth. Again, they're trying to make the mask look ferocious. So okay. to put a little red in the mouth, oh. around the teeth, just makes it look a little bit more. Yeah, kind of bloody. Yeah. <laughs> now, one of the things that we always look for is once we know on the roadshow what an object is, we want to see wear patterns that make sense and establish whether it's authentic. Okay. There is absolutely no doubt this is an authentic mask. Okay. The the wear down here and on the sides is exactly what you'd expect cheeks, chins, you know, wow. foreheads and all that to do. So okay. this is absolutely the real deal. Yay. All right. I love this mask and I'll tell you, don't worry about being cursed. I've okay. had a number of them. Okay. And so far they haven't done anything bad okay. to me. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. This mask in a good gallery would be 15 to 2500. If we didn't have the condition problems, it could be as much as 3500. Wow. And I'm so excited because it's real. <laughs>